In today's video, we are going to be looking at how to sort a Microsoft Excel. How to sort a Microsoft Excel. Now, to sort a Microsoft Excel, you can see that these data are arranged in different orders. They are arranged in different orders. Uh, probably your, your client have told you to arrange the names in alphabetical orders. This is name, country, educational level, and age of this the uh, people here so now maybe your client wants you to arrange these names in ascending or descending order or probably your uh, your client wants you to arrange the country in ascending order or you want you to ar arrange the educational level in ascending order probably your client wants to see all the PhD holders first before others now the same thing probably your client want you to arrange the age in ascending order for maybe from lowest to highest or from highest to lowest so how can we do this in microsoft excel now for you to do this all you need to do is to highlight the the column which you want to um sort out to arrange it to arrange the color you want to sort out and once you've done that all you need to do is in your home tab there are two ways in your home tab you go to sort filter from home tab you scroll to the right you see editing under the editing group you're going to see sort and filter so once you click sort and filter you're going to look at you see that it's going to show you A to down to Z that is lowest to highest so you're going to click on it and once you click on it Microsoft Excel found data next to your selection. Since you have not selected this data, it will not be sorted. So if you just click on sort, you can see it will arrange everything in what ascending order. That is, this is and Jones, that is A. A comes before B, B comes before C, and C comes before D. So now you can see it, and once you do that, it's going to take effect on all other it's going to bring all the data for Ann Jones, it's going to bring all the data for Brian Green, it's going to bring all the data for and so on and so forth. You can see Ann Jones is, is from France and he has his educational level, he's a master's and he's 38 years old. Now, what about if you come to probably the person wants you to arrange the country, he wants to use country. For instance, you just click on any place in country and you click on to sort and filter. You see, ask you A to Z. You say click on e, A to Z. You can see it is that for Austria, Belgium, Denmark, and so Finland, and so on and so forth. So, this is how you can basically sort. Now, who are in Austria? You can see that the people in Austria are. It's just one person, Brian Green. Now, let's assume that here was Austria. You can see what's going to happen. Let's assume that here was Austria. Since here is Austria, now we'll go back and click on sort A to Z. You can see that the two Austria comes up here. You can see that. So let's try, uh, let's say here is uh, Australia. Let's say here is Australia. 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 And once you do that, still come back to sort and filter, click on sort and filter. You can see that it goes up. You can see that all the A's are now in um, the first part of it. So let's take it back to where it was. So now we can go back and look at how can we sort age. Now, if you click anywhere on age and you go to sort and filter, you can see because age is number, Excel can identify if it's going to be from lowest to highest or for smallest to largest. Now, age, if you look at what it wrote, they wrote smallest to largest. So if you want it to be from the lowest age to the highest age, you click on smallest to highest. You can see the tree, the sister cell. But if you, 41 and so on, if you want it to be from the highest to the lowest, largest to the smallest, you click on largest to smallest and you can see that it all changes. It all changes to... Uh, the required or the particular arrangement you want it to appear now let's look at how to filter how to filter let's click on sort and filter you go to filter you're going to see filter here once you click on filter you can see this drop down box will appear 
let's let's go back so that you look at it nothing shows here you can see that nothing is here but once you come to sort and filter and you click on filter it's going to bring out these drop down boxes the advantage of these drop down boxes is that once you want to do anything to each of the column just come to the drop down boxes click on it once you click on it it's going to ask you sort to a to z if you want it to be sorted to a to z you do that sort by color if you have color you can use color to sort by color and so on and so forth so this is basically how you want to do this and you click on what okay so let's say you want to sort a to z you just click on it and it's going to be sorted out so let's go to educational level you see educational level sort a to z uh select all or you say bsc and msc and bag click on okay you can see it will just select only those in msc and those in what phd get that again let's do that again this was selected now you want to see uh, uh a to z you click on A to Z. Now, if you want to select all, select all, both BSc, MSc, and PhD, you click on OK. You're going to see MSc, um, BSc, and PhD all together. Now, if you want to see only the MSc and PhD holders, you're just going to deselect this BSc, remove this BSc, and you click on what? OK. And you're going to have just MSc holders and PhD holders. Holders. Now, if you want it to be in a ascending order, A to Z, you click on A to Z, MSc comes first. If you want it to be in descending order, you click on Z to PhD comes first. Now, the same thing applies to, the same thing applies to uh, age. Let's say you come to age now. Okay, let's, let, let me take you back so that you can actually understand what I'm talking about. Let's, okay. Now, if you come to age, this is the help of filter. Once you click on this filter, now, probably you want to see those people that are aged from 40 years and above. You deselect all those that are not up to 40 years. And once you do that, or you just go to number filter, if you go to number filter, you, you can use any, you can use between top 10, you can use uh, above average, below average, greater than or equals to. If you click on greater than or equals to, so you're going to ask you, is greater than or equals to what? So, you, uh, you can just say type in greater than or equals to 40. So you can see that you click on what? Okay. Once you click on okay, you can see that the only uh, age, the only age you're going to see here is all those ages greater than or equals to what? 40. You can see that only the age is greater than or equals to 40. That is what you are going to be seeing at this point. So this is how you can just filter. It does a lot of things for you. Filter does a lot of things for you. You can see sort by color, but uh, if you have to, uh, we have to have a color. You can say, okay, let all the educational level uh, A to Z. So you have to have a color anyway. But for now, there's no, okay, country, cell level, cell color, font color. Let's uh, say cell color. You can see that there's no cell color at all. Now let us put a color on it. Let's put a color, um, it just numbers, the color just gives you the numbering here. You can see that, just the number of the educational level. Now let's say we want to um, put a color here, let's say, um, give it a um, font color, maybe, um, okay, let's do it this way, give it font color, blue, give it font color, blue. So come here and say, sort filter by color filter by color you can see that it brings out only those that have this word color now let's go back so that you understand what the mirror you arranged it in such a way that uh, everything has a color so let's give it another color give it another color so that you understand because there was no color so you can't really get the idea of featuring by color so let's say you have this to be um, brown so now if you look at it now it's beautiful right <laughs> If you look at it then you can just say okay you come over to this drop down arrow which is the filter arrow you click on it you're going to ask you okay you want to filter it by color probably you want to look at all those people that, that were given this brownish color just click on it you can see that it's only belgium that has this color okay probably you gave the uh, country co uh, color by flag that flag color you can see it's only belgium that have this word color probably that's what your clients want you to get get all the countries with this color and you just do that by using the filter icon so that is how to do sorting and filtering in microsoft excel
so let's go back again let me show you another way now if you don't want to use the home tab and go to sort and filter you can go to data under data once you get to data you're going to see the sort and filter group the sort and filter word group now if i want to clear all the if i want to clear all the um sorting i've done to this i can just right click on this place once you right click you're going to see clear clear contents uh you can see that once you click on it it's going to clear Oh, sorry. Okay. So you come here and just once you click on it, you're gonna see clear. Okay. But if you don't see clear over here, you can just you can just come over here and click on clear, clear filters. You can see that it clears all the filters that you selected. Clear filters. Now, once you come to, you see it will clear it so all the uh, names are arranged again the way you left it. You can see France educational levels and age. Okay, age is scattered, educational level is scattered. So if you don't want to use the home tab, go to um, sort and filter. You can just easily come to data. Once you come to data, you see sort and filter. So you click on your sort. Once you click on your sort, you're gonna what do you want to sort? Probably want to sort the country name. You want to sort the country, you said select cell. Uh you can just leave it the way it is, just select A to Z or you select Z to A. So let's say to, uh, click on OK. You can see that you start first. Okay, so who is in who is in United Kingdom? Michael. Who is in Ukraine? Nielsen, Nielsen and uh, Switzerland, George, and so on and so forth. So you can see uh, as well. Go to Advanced Filter. Advanced Filter list of range, and you can so do a lot of things in this place. So there are a lot of things you can do. What in filtering? Remember, let's recall to filter. Go to Home tab. First of all, you click on any. Uh, any of the column you want to filter go to home tab click on sort and filter select the one you want to do you click on a to z you're going to filter from a to z you can see b before m before p or you can come to filter how to filter you click on filter and uh, this arrows appears in each of the column that you want to filter so this is how you can do sorting and filtering in microsoft excel thank you